Hi, welcome back to Lily's Fun Guide. Uh, today we just want to share with you a little project we're going to have a go at. This is a Taxus Baccata, or the English U. Um, it's a piece of nursery stock, just over a metre tall. This one as well, we know is a male. Um, I can show you here, it's presenting these little globular flowers. Uh, these appear in spring, and obviously the females would have the berries, you know, come autumn time. Uh, there is a little piece of movement going on down here and the roots begin to flare out, although I haven't ventured too far into there. But you know, kind of anything here is a bonus with nursery stock. Um, so yeah, let's, let's give it a go. Right, to make a start on this tree, we're just gonna go in, um, reduce the density, thin out you know, things that we're definitely not gonna be using. Um, we can reduce a little bit of the height of the tree, because uh, that's not all gonna be required either. Basically, just to make a start, we're just going to need a, a sharp pair of secateurs and a pair of scissors. Um, that's about it, really. Let's have a have a look and see what you know what we've got. So we're about 20 minutes in, um, as you can see, the tree's quite a bit smaller now. We've reduced a lot of the mass, uh, saved any larger branches in the right place, you know, tried to obviously keep scale, you know, thicker to thinner already. Um, obviously this is a piece of nursery stock, so you are, get, you know, you, you get what you're given. Um, but, you know, there's a few interesting things about it. Uh, we're going to have to work on, obviously, where this forks off here, there's a bit of a fork there um, a lot of branches coming out from one point as well which obviously could start creating an inverse taper if, if this tree ever gets that far obviously um, so you know we've left a couple of potential leaders if we had to um, I still feel it's a little bit tall though at the moment so we might have to shorten it a little bit further but you know we can you can work down as you go you don't have to take it all off in one go um, unless you're that confident you're gonna stick with this, the decision that you've made uh, we've got this kind of cool little branch here, this is, you know, this is grown on me, so we'll, we'll maybe try and incorporate that. Um, and yeah, some really nice character on the uh, on the trunk really, there's a few little, you know, there's a little scar there that's healed, but it actually looks really nice. Uh, some flaky bark, and I had a little bit more of a poke around in the roots, and you know, this does flare out quite a bit, so it might be a little bit of work to get it downsized into a smaller pot, but you know, I think there's a few things there making this worthwhile. Right, so the next step um, we need to do is really wire up now some of these lower branches and kind of develop what we can out of them. Uh, like I said to you earlier, there's kind of a cluster of them at the back here and kind of like a bit of a handle wiring thing going on. So wherever we can collect stuff like that, we will. Um, now, obviously you want to keep as much as you can. With a yew tree, um, you know, they fat bud profusely, so you won't have any issues if you do take the wrong branch off, you know, you'll be able to grow another one back. Um, obviously just then, catching it up to the thickness of where it is positioned on the tree um, might be another task. But if you do have to use a thinner branch, um, you know, try and keep the end tips in there with a the bigger, and within a season or two, you should be able to bring them back up to the kind of thickness of the branches around.
Right, well, there we are. Um, we spent a couple of hours kind of wiring it up. It's probably about as far as we need to be able to get with it for now. There's obviously a little bit more just clipping out um, finer stuff, you know, just encourage some backbone and kind of reinforce the triangle. Um, but yeah, really happy of how this one's come out. Obviously, the roots are, you know, the next big gamble with it, but, you know, we've got a nice little tree here. Um, you know, it'd be nice to uh, see how it progresses. Obviously, we had a fork in this trunk here that was a bit of a problem. Um, we decided to leave it actually the same height there and delay it two leaders and just see how it goes. But, you know, you could have took this one a little bit lower and maybe use that as a leader. Um, or took one away, you know, if you used that from the front of the tree, almost, you can see without it there, it would have worked. Um, so there's a few options there, but we'll keep them open. You know, I'm not in a hurry to make decisions like that with it. So let's see how it develops.